The fundamental nature of wearable AR systems is that the users carry them wherever they go. While the need to carry these devices on the one hand makes them a bit cumbersome, it on the other hand represents one of their main advantages over fixed projection based AR systems. They can augment objects wherever their users may go. While the introduction of pen and tilt devices for projector based AR systems clearly increases the freedom for the user, the range of the projection system is still limited by a maximum distance where markers can be detected and where the projected pixels are still small enough to resolve the augmentation. Another important restriction is the fact that the objects to be augmented have to face the projector, otherwise an augmentation is impossible. By introducing several projection systems, however, we can conquer both of these problems. If the projection systems are placed close enough that their ranges of projection overlap, a user can walk along them while being able to see the augmentations. Furthermore, the user can now turn the objects in any direction and there is always a projection system that can perform the augmentation. In the following scenes you will see recordings of a test setup using three projection systems. To document the switching behavior, we captured the monitor window of the application server, which displays the number of the active projection system as well as the current quality value. The first example demonstrates a tool to measure distances. The application connected to this error-shaped object continually measures the position of the tool's tip. It displays the distance between the actual position and the stored reference position. If the reset marker is visible, the reference position is set to the actual position, which results in a displayed distance of zero. Once the reset marker gets blocked, the tool starts to display actual distances. The second example shows a calculator. While the user interface still offers a lot of room for improvement, it clearly demonstrates the continuity of the state. The display's content stays constant over the change of the active projection system, as well as the internal state, which determines how to interpret the next button pressed.